Hello everyone, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one very very interesting question. Here we have one rectangle known whose length is 181x minus 1 and width is x plus 1. Area of this rectangle is given x power 5 minus 181. Then we have to find out perimeter of this rectangle. So let's get started by considering 181x minus 1 as L length and here we will consider x plus 1 as breadth. So we can write area of rectangle will be equal to L times B. Let's put the values A is x power 5 minus 181 will be equal to 181x minus 1 times x plus 1. Let's simplify. We will get 181x times x. 181x square. 181x plus 1. We will multiply both. We will be getting 181x minus 1 times x minus x minus 1 times plus 1 is minus 1. Or we can write 181x square plus 180x minus 1. LHS is x power 5 minus 181. Now we will take this minus 181 to the RHS. We will write x power 5 will be equal to 181x square plus 180x 181 minus 1. So plus 180. Now we will use algebraic manipulation step. Let me write here equation x power 5 equal to 181 x square plus 180x plus 180. Now I will add x plus 1 to both sides. So I will write here plus x plus 1 and this side also plus x plus 1. So we can write our equation x power 5 plus x plus 1 equal to 181 x square plus 180x plus x 181x 180 plus 1 181. Now we have 181 common. So in the bracket we will be writing x square plus x plus 1. In LHS, we have x power 5 plus x plus 1. Take all the terms to LHS. We will write x power 5 plus x plus 1 minus 181 times x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now we will consider this algebraic expression separately. Let's say this equation is equation number 1. So I will write x power 5 plus x plus 1. And I will consider addition of x square and its subtraction. So I will write x power 5 minus x square plus x square. Then we will write plus x plus 1. From first two terms, we can take x square common out. So in the bracket, we will write x cube minus 1. Then we have three terms, x square plus x plus 1. So will be equal to x square x cube minus 1 cube. a cube minus b cube is a minus b times a square plus ab plus b square. Then we have plus x square plus x plus 1. Now we can see this is common. So we will write here x square plus x plus 1 as a common factor. Then in the bracket we will get x square times x minus 1 plus 1. Or we can write x square plus x plus 1 times x cube 
minus x square plus 1. Now we will use our equation 1 and in place of x power 5 plus x plus 1, we will be writing these two factors. Let me write. Let me write our equation number 1 first. Here it is. Now in this place, we will write x square plus x plus 1 times x cube minus x square plus 1 minus 181 times x square plus x plus 1 and RHS is 0. Now we will take x square plus x plus 1 overall common. So we will write x square plus x plus 1 here and in the bracket we will be writing x cube minus x square plus 1 minus 181 equal to 0 or we can write x square plus x plus 1 times x cube minus x square minus 180 equal to 0. So from product 0 rule we can write either x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0 or x cube minus x square minus 180 equal to 0. Now if I will consider our first quadratic equation and if I will check only the discriminant value here then we can write here delta equal to b square minus 4ac. So b is 1, 1 is square minus 4 times 1 times 1 which will give us 1 minus 4 so minus 3. Discriminant is negative. We will get complex solutions. So we will reject. We will calculate the real one only. Now I will consider our cubic equation. And we will use method of factorization. So I will write cubic equation x cube minus x square minus 180 equal to 0. Now I can write x cube minus x square minus 180 we can write minus 216 plus 36 which is minus 180 or I can write x cube minus x square minus 216 we can write minus 6 cube and 36 is 6 square equal to 0. Now I will rearrange the terms x cube minus 6 cube and if I will take minus common out so in the bracket x square minus 6 square. Now we will apply a cube minus b cube formula here a square minus b square formula here. So we will write x minus 6. In other bracket we will write x square plus 6x plus 36 minus difference of two squares formula we can apply x plus 6 x minus 6 equal to 0 now x minus 6 is common so here i will write x square plus 6x plus 36 then minus of x plus 6 which we can write minus x minus 6 equal to 0 or we can write x minus 6 times x square plus 5x plus 30 equal to 0. From product 0 rule, either x minus 6 will be equal to 0 or x square plus 5x plus 30 equal to 0. Let me write our first equation here x minus 6 equal to 0. From here I will be getting our real solution x equal to 6. Now let us consider quadratic equation x square plus 5x plus 30 equal to 0. Let us check the discriminant value once again will be equal to b square minus 4ac. 
so as per our quadratic equation a is 1 b is 5 c is 30 so i will write 5 a square minus 4 times 1 times 30 which will give us 25 minus 120 which is equal to minus 95 discriminant is negative we will get complex solutions so we can reject easily rejected so x equal to 6 will be the accepted x value now we have to calculate perimeter so i will write perimeter of rectangle this will be equal to l plus l plus b plus b so i can write two times l plus b so this will be equal to two times length was 181 x minus 1 width was x plus 1 this will be equal to 2 times in the bracket we will write 182 x only 2 times 182 364 x now in place of x we will write 6 so 364 times 6 will be our answer so perimeter p if i will write then this value will come out 2184 and units this is our final answer i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to subscribe our channel bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye